representative and she'll tell you all about how to tax free retirement have your tax free retirement and then she's taking donations later. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Yeah, okay, my retirement. <laughs> I guess some change. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first, I want to talk about some facts about the national debt. In 2011, June 2011, our national debt was 14 trillion, 359 billion, 788 million, 210,000, 791 dollars. No, no, I have to read it myself. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. The official debt in 2006, excuse me, 2008, was nine trillion three hundred and eighty-one billion three hundred and sixty-eight million one hundred and eight thousand five hundred and ninety-five hundred dollars. Now the real national debt. Whoops, I feel the real national debt is seventy-five trillion four hundred and sixty. Seven billion two hundred and ten million dollars. The real debt, if anybody's interested in, I have a link. I can send you a link to the article in the Today Show, in the Today Mag USA Today, which gives you explains all of uh, the debt. And for each of us, the debt is two hundred. Our own personal debt is two hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Um, where's the debt come from? The debt comes from uh, a couple of examples or Social Security and uh, some of our stimulus packages. There are only two ways to combat the growth debt. One, spend less. Two, tax more. <laughs> are we spending less as a government? No. Are, <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> well, well, you don't want to get off on this. We're in the problem because of the previous administration, but that, that's a whole side discussion here. Uh, we are spending. No, we are spending more than ever, and that's not compliance didn't approve that. We are spending more than ever in our country's history. So the only solution seemed to be higher taxes. Our, um, this shows you the, our federal history of income tax rates. Smart retirement money is free money, tax-free money, tax-deferred money, and ta then the last option is taxable money. <coughs> free money, inherited money, matching money we get for our 401ks from our employers, tax-free money, tax-deferred money, and then of course taxable money. Would it? Well, if oh, if you marry into money, yes, yes. I thought marriages cost money. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Any investment above the match of your 401k becomes tax deferred, and then it's uh, skipped to two. The differences, let's take a look at the differences between tax deferred plans and tax free plans. An example, with an IRA, with a traditional IRA, you pay no taxes on your deposits, you have some tax deductions then, and your money grows tax deferred. The Roth IRA, the money you're putting in is after tax money and it grows so you have no it grows tax deferred and no federal taxes. An example, would you pay on your uh, traditional IRA, it's tax at ordinary income tax when you go to withdraw it. There are other uh, limitations with the tax with a Roth IRA. You cannot take it out, well, a traditional IRA as well. You cannot take it out till you're 59 and a half or you have penalties and you pay taxes. With a traditional IRA, you have to start taking withdrawals by the time you're, when you become 70 and a half and you have to start taking minimal withdrawals. With a traditional, with a Roth IRA, you do not have to take those withdrawals because you've already paid your taxes. Here's an example uh, for ordinary taxes. You pay it on the entire amount, and after taxes, you only, you're only paying your taxes on the amount you're putting in that you've already paid taxes on. When you put money in your IRA 
or 401k are you really saving on taxes? No, you're simply delaying taxes, which will actually compound your tax problem. If you were a farmer, what would you rather do? Would you rather pay on the seeds or would you rather pay on your harvest? What would you rather on the seeds? Because it's less expensive. You're going to pay more on your harvest than on your seeds. This is how uh, permanent life insurance is one of the ways you can, um, you can grow cash value. One, you pay premiums minus the fees into an insurance policy. The insurance company uh, create, uh, sets up the minimum requirements for that. The government, the IRS, sets up the maximum amount of cash you can accumulate in that. And there's also, of course, a death benefit on permanent insurance. What's best for you? Is a Roth IRA best for you? Yeah. Or is permanent life insurance best for you? Or both? The next step. Next step would be sit down with a financial professional, myself or someone else.